if you can find a way to get Hugo talking and to make sure that he confesses to a crime, we can make a move. If anything goes wrong, our end, I'll say the code word and we'll get you out. Don't worry, you're doing an incredible thing. Thank you, Angel. You're saving us all. So, the prodigal demon returns. How fitting. Well, I don't think my daughter, Erisa, needs an introduction to you. She made her allegiances quite clear. How's it going in there, Angel? What a disappointment. We've got eyes on you. What a disappointment. Since you entered and left my it's life, it's gone to shit. Absolute shit. Oh, I lost my job. I got gonorrhea. And I have not even had sex. Everywhere around the house, pestilence, bees, cockroaches, you, you name it. Well, I'd say that it was good to see you, but under the circumstances, I, I, I don't know what, what to say. I point a gun at my daughter, whom I love very much, looking at a demon who has been sowing the seeds of chaos around town. Now, this presents the dilemma for me, a visceral dilemma. On the one hand, I could fucking shoot you for what you've put me and my family through and what you're putting us both through now. Presentation, the truest agent of chaos I've ever witnessed, and I marvel at you. I marvel at your ability to, without even consciously knowing what you're doing, evaporate order, lay waste to regimentation, and defy the laws of all that is traditionally held dear by mortals. So part of me wants to keep the gun on Arison to ensure your Clients. The other wants me to point the fucking thing at you to 
end this nightmare. And the other wants to blow my own fucking brains out for being such an idiot. So what would you do? I told you. I'll kill you. I told you that I know how to kill you. And I told you that I would bring my son, Ricardo, back. Whom I miss very much. And yet, I find myself at the behest of you. Unwittingly smarting me at every fucking turn, ravaging my body without even looking at me, and destroying what I have built without even a strike. Teach me. Teach me how to sow the seeds of chaos like you do. For God's sake, teach me. I have nothing else apart from my daughter. Look at her. Well, it's true. Her son. Fucking coin like a baby. One crime. <coughs> crime. I'm not a criminal. I was the fucking DA. Trafficking isn't a crime. Well, depends on your definition of track. You're very chatty. Where's your priest friend? Dead. You know you owe me. Do want to kill you. Want to end you there at that. But I said don't know. Let him in. Movies, movies, motion. 
Russian pig fig juice, you fucking cretin. You go. Why? Why you got a girl with a with a gun and shit? What the fuck is this? Is a demon? Why the fuck did I come up this way in the first place? I didn't think you'd actually come today. this fucking Aryan prick. Don't look at the ball. 
You look at what you want to shoot. So that human juice you've been drinking has got you in the head a little bit. No matter. And you really don't remember anything, do you? Did you really think that you were an angel? Hmm? Just because that's your name? You think it's there. Try serving breakfast to Margaret Thatcher. Maggie likes her toast soggy. For some fortnight's reason. Who knows? Try. Try 
my serving lunch to Stephen Seagal. Oh, you don't think he's dead? Oh, what did you call him recently? Did you check up on little Stevie? For all you know, he could be. Anyway, he could have died having lunch with Vladimir. Lots of people have, you know. <laughs> well, anyway, you fucking idiot. Big D, BB, he is particularly disappointed with your father. Yes, and I am very, very disappointed with him. Well, I feel a little responsible, you know. Sam's Sam, probably the most likable of the lot. And Eris, well, she is as the bunny does. No, she's not here. Of course not. But you are, you little bloody idiot. Oh, don't worry. Your seat's still warm. After all, this is hell. Well, it's hot. But I mean, it's like you've never been gone. Well, nothing's changed. Nothing ever does down here. No, no, you. You lot had your fun running about shooting each other, killing people, and eating people for some fucking reason. Now, let's get down to business. Yes, he's still watching this fucking film. And you know, Walt watches it with him. Nazi, after all. It's a room. But I like rooms. But anyway, your time in high society is at an end. You are to come back from whence you came, fall back in line, and tow the line. You are to relegate yourself to the grand below the underworld. You are to reacquaint yourself with low society. What we call down here the die society. For those who die and arrive here are the lowest of the low and do not, under any circumstances, entertain some notion that you're in the wrong place again. So I've got news for you, Bob. We have a very special world for people like you. Dean traitors. We call you Dumbos. You fucking do that. Well, anyway, as pleasant as this has been. I have to cook steak for John Wayne. He likes it. Oh, God. Fucking war. But you know, I've got to keep the big wigs happy. <laughs> it's not easy being a king in hell. Go on, fuck off. Fuck off.